We do want to come on the air here with breaking news, in fact, instead of going to that break out of Atlanta. Rapper Young Thug is now pleading guilty in what has become Georgia's longest running criminal trial. The plea just announced in Fulton County Court just minutes ago. The rapper, whose real name is Jeff Jeffrey Lamar Williams, was indicted in 2022 on racketeering charges. Prosecutors say the rapper led a street gang that committed murder, armed robbery, carjackings, and also dealt drugs. Nearly 30 other co defendants defendants were named in this case. Young Thug's trial has been plagued by problems, including two judges having to recuse themselves and mounting concerns last week that a mistrial could be ordered. Let's bring in ABC News legal contributor Shauna Lloyd now, who joins me with more. Uh, Shauna, talk to me first just about the state of play in this trial and remind me, frankly, of how long this has gone on. It is the longest running criminal trial in Georgia history. Is that right? That is absolutely correct. And, and it's amazing that this has been going on for more than six months. We have been here um, following this trial. It is one of the longest trials that we, Georgia, has had. That says a lot about the state of this trial and how many witnesses the state has been calling. Um, so now that we see this plea deal, I'm not very surprised by it because I think both sides are trying to mitigate damages here. And Shauna, very quickly, I, I do want to play for you images that just came into us. It is Young Thug taking that plea deal in court, and then I'll have you react on the back end. But here is what just played out in court just moments ago. As to count 60, violation of the Georgia Controlled Substances Act, how do you plead? Guilty. As to count 61, possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony, how do you plead? Guilty. And as to count one, conspiracy to violate the Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act, how do you plead? No law. As to count 56, participation in criminal street gang activity under the leadership charge, how do you plead? No law. Right. I think you didn't ask about count 62. As to count, thank you, Your Honor. As to count 62, possession of a machine gun, how do you plead? Guilty. Are you pleading guilty to the offenses you have indicated because you are, in fact, guilty of these charges? Yes. And Shauna, something that I heard there, tell me if I'm wrong here, is in, to some charges he's pleading guilty, to some charges he's pleading no low contendere, which means no contest. Um, but also, very quickly, it looks like we've gotten here because there was an issue at trial last week where there was this witness who divulged sensitive information on the stand and there were these concerns that there could be a mistrial and essentially you'd have to start the clock all over again and you'd have to have this long trial all over again. How did we get here to this point where prosecutors and defense attorneys obviously wanted to deal? I mean, what we're really seeing is that that misstep could potentially have created a mistrial. And the judge looked like she may have been leaning towards granting that. So that leaves exposure on both sides. So that means the state has to determine to bring this trial again, and he would have to stand again for another trial. So what you see here in this plea deal is both sides gave a little bit. He pleaded no contest to some of the charges, the direct charges that were linked to him directly, such as the possession charges, he did plead guilty to. And the state gave up the opportunity to get a full conviction. They're getting a lot of probation here in this particular plea deal in order to get those guilty, those, those admissions of guilt. So both sides had to give a little bit, but in the face of a mistrial, when we're talking about the longest running trial in the history of Georgia, was really both sides trying to get what what they wanted their main objective out of this, and they each got a little bit. And explain to me why this trial went so long. It was a RICO case. It was just simply the fact that there were so many defendants and there was so much evidence to go through, or were there other factors that made the trial drag out to this point? So those were some of the initial factors. There were a lot of defendants. The state had a lot of witnesses, but we have to remember they had no direct evidence. So a lot of what they were using were lyrics and other things that were being used by the YSL team in order to get this conviction. So in order to build that kind of case, you need a lot of background. And that's what we were seeing by having so many witnesses. Shauna Lloyd, young thug pleading guilty, that breaking news. Thank you as always.